Now I get a lot of questions from my students regarding how to consolidate many sheets within a workbook and create a pivot table. Now you can do this. You can certainly do this. Um, there's different ways you can do it. You can copy and, and paste um, the different sheets together into one consolidated version. That's the quick and nasty way, but then you're prone to errors. And then if your data gets updated, then obviously it will be harder to locate that transaction and then make the update. So that's um, not recommended to do. The other way is to use VLOOKUP formulas to bring all the sheets into one consolidated sheet. But that again, you got to do a lot of VLOOKUP formulas, a lot of IF formulas, a lot of SUMMI formulas, and then that can become complex. Now, a quick way to do this is to use Power Query, which is a new feature in Excel 2010, and you can install it using an Excel add-in from the Microsoft Office website, and I can show you, and I'll show you how to do this uh, at the bottom of this video. And you can also install it in Excel 2013 as an add-in. Now, if you have Excel 2016, as I do here, it is already in there, installed. So it's under data and it's called Get and Transform. So over here, it's called Get and Transform. They changed the name just to make it confusing on everyone, but that's okay. It's still here. It's called Get and Transform. And you've got all the things that you have from the Power Query add-in in Excel 2010 and 2013 in here, in this group here, Get and Transform. So I'm going to show you how to do this with Get and Transform or Power Query. Now I'm using Excel 2016, but you can do this using Excel 2010 and 2013 once you install Power Query in there. All right, so we have our sales here, our sales date, our values, the year and months. And similar here, we've got February and we have March. Now the first thing we need to do is to convert each of our data into an Excel table because Power Query works best with Excel tables. Now to do this, press Control T and this brings up the Create Table dialog box and make sure this is ticked. It says that my table has headers and press OK. So that is a table. If you click out of it and you click back in, you see the table tools comes up. So under Design, well it's the only option that you have you got the table name. It's good to rename this into a name that you know. That helps us when we append these tables in Power Query. So I want to name this January, J-A-N. And you can see that up here. Now, February, only the same process as I did. So as many sheets as you have, do the same process, convert it into a table. Control T, OK. In there, Feb, F-E-B. Control T. Okay, and MAR. Now we need to go to data and press from table. If you have Excel 2010 or 2013, you go to Power Query and from table. We're using Excel 2016, it's data and from table. So we're going to do this to each of the tables that are here. So we're going to load it into Power Query and then press Save and Close and get out of it. So let's go into January from table. This loads it into the Query Editor here, the Power Query Editor. We don't need to do anything here. Look at it, it just drops everything into the Power Query Editor, our table in here. It just drops it in there and then it creates a query which we're going to use to append. So all we're going to press is Save and Close. Very easy. And you see that Workbook Query. It's called Jan, the table, which we named, and 31 rows added. And you can see the preview there. And it puts it into a sheet, number one, and that's our query sheet one. So that's our table, and this is our power query here. Let's do the same thing with February. Go to data, from table, close and load. And you see there, you create a new sheet, sheet two, March. Data from table. You guessed it. Close and load. And you put into sheet three. So we have our Excel tables here and we have our power queries in here.
Now, let's click anywhere in here in the Power Query. And what we need to do is go to Data and New Query, Combine Queries. Okay, so we created the three queries. We can see here on the left, Whirlpool Query is Jan, Feb, March. And we want to combine them. So, Combine Queries. In Excel 2010 and 2013, you go to Power Query, and then it's a group called Combine Queries and Append. In here, it's just laid out differently, but it's still in there. Combine queries, append. We are going to append the queries. Now, we're going to tell which queries do we want to append. Two tables. Now, let's go to three or more tables. We'll have three or more tables. On the left here are the available tables. And the right here is the tables we want to append. So, we just click in January, press Add, Feb, Add, March, Add. Press OK. What this does, it brings all those three queries again into Power Query and it appends them, as you can see, Jan, Feb, and March. Now, how cool is that? All we're going to do now is close and load. There you go. So it brings in the 91 rows. You see the 31 plus 29 plus 31, it's 91 rows. It's append one. We can rename this to whatever you want. Let's call this consolidated. It just makes it easier and it just names it consolidated you can see here the name table name is changed to consolidated it's an excel table but it's been brought in using power query now we can create a pivot table from here let's go and press here summarize with pivot table or you can go to insert and pivot table and let's go into a new worksheet so press OK it'll bring it into a new worksheet and let's get rid of this work with queries we don't want that we're using pivot tables now so this is the pivot table here let's just double click and name this pivot table it just makes it better and let's move it over here I'm gonna move it over there it just makes it better okay so we have the sales date we can drop it into the rows area and you can see there, it puts it in there automatically. Now, because I'm using Excel 2016, it's a new feature. If you have a date, it groups it automatically. You see there, Jan, Feb, March. Now, you can right-click and ungroup and see everything in there from before. Or you can just right-click again and group. Now, this time, I want to group by months and years. Let's go. And let's create quarters. There you go. Now, put in the sales and then put it in there so you can see that it quickly created a consolidated report taking all of our three sheets into here now the good thing about this is that if our data gets changed all we're going to press is refresh so with previous other methods we'll probably have to copy paste the values again and, and they just it's prone to error so it's not um, advised to do that way this is the quickest and easiest way it takes a bit of time to set up but once you set it up you're going to use this query all the time so let's go to january and say okay instead of twenty five thousand dollars on the first of jan there was an error there it was 25 million let's go to our pivot table or we can just go in here and let's press data and refresh all so we can see this gets updated so refresh all you see that got updated into this table here from the query and sheet one that got updated there as well now if we go to pivot table it hasn't updated yet because we're going to refresh all twice so make sure to refresh all twice once to update the query and two to take the data from the query into the pivot table so click in here click on the pivot table and press refresh all and you see that it's got updated now we could have done the refresh all twice from the pivot table instead of going back in here that's okay i went back in here just so i can show you that it got updated in here and then it gets updated in here by pressing the second time but you can press refresh all twice from within the pivot table now that is awesome how about if we get another sheet added into this workbook let's do that okay so here we are we've added an april worksheet in here so it's a new month we'll put in april in there and what we want to do now is this is in an excel table we know that because this is table tools design we've named this april 
APR. All we have to do now is go to load this into Power Query and then from the append query, add this in again. So first of all, step number one, load to query data from table. Close and load. Okay, it's in our query. You can see here, workbook queries, it's added in here, April, so 30 rows. Now, we need to click on consolidated. You see that, if I go back there, if you click on April, it goes to sheet seven. If I go to consolidate, it takes us to sheet four. Now you can rename this if you want, just to make it better. Um, I advise to do that. But at the moment, let's just keep it like this. So consolidated sheet four. Let's right click here and press edit. So we want to edit this query. It opens the Power Query Editor. That's fine. It's got Jan to February and March. We want to add April sheet. To do this, in the applied steps here on the right, just click on that, and then it brings up the append. Click on April, put it into here, and press OK, and it does its magic, and you see April has been added in there. All right, so now, close and load. Sheet number four is gonna be updated with the new 30 rows, that's 121 rows added. We can check this, we can go there, bang, there you go. So. Let's go into our pivot table and go to data, refresh all, and you can see it's been added in there. So very, very easy to add in new sheets into your pivot table report. Now this is a quick summary. If you had more data, you can do different um, analysis using the pivot table or you can do a dashboard. But next month, put in your sheet, update the query, append it into the appended query and there you have it it's going to be in your report very easy very quick and there is the power of power query g'day it's john michaelis here the chief inspirational officer and founder at myexcelonline.com and i hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you if you did then give it a thumbs up it just lets us know to create more of the same excel videos for you so you can get better at excel and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so you can get new excel videos each and every week and finally we want you to join our flagship online excel course it's called the my excel online academy and you get all of our excel courses you get our excel beginner intermediate and advanced courses we go through over 500 excel videos which teach you formulas macros vba pivot tables power bi power query power pivot charts formatting access and much more because we add new videos each and every month you also can download all our excel workbooks and keep so you can practice and you also get a certificate of course completion Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q&As. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.